show me everything. 255 here. What up? What up? And today we are talking about the current state of Arc System and what's going on with them in their games. So let's look at three games for today's discussion. Number one, Guilty Gear had their season two patch on about June 15th. Then they had a minor bug fix at the CEO. So that's about a month. Dragon Ball Fighters got their new patch about June 24th. Today's the 25th. That's also a month. Let me know that DNF Duel was released four days later in June on the 28th. So, got about a month of new Arc System stuff. But I think that system mechanic changes, buffing characters, that holds players' attention for like a month and is good. It adds new freshness to the games. But I think about after a month, it gets kind of okay. Uh, and that really depends on the updated season type, right? Are they just minor bug fixes? Is it just a few character bump up here and a few nerfs there? Now, in Dragon Ball Season 3, we got new assists and that new tag mechanic. Well, something like that, that that's a, la a change that can last you about three months or so, right? You can change that up. So, it, unless it's a huge change like that, I don't think that these individual patches are good enough on their own. Let's talk about DLC. Dragon Ball Z's last DLC that we got was Lab Coat, and that was back in February. And then let's think about when was the last time we got a new stage for DBFZ? About four years ago. About four, 2018. 2018, that's like four years ago, that's crazy. And I don't know if Arc System's not adding the new stages because we already have bad net code, at least on a PlayStation, because if you're on PC, you're eating good, you're sticking your ether cord, it's fine. But I know that certain stages make the net code even worse, maybe that's why they're hesitant, but you need new things like that. So, looking at DBZ, we definitely needs an update. Uh, let's look at Guilty Gear. When was Guilty Gear's last update march 31st that's when we got testament which technically nobody was asking for and it came out of left field let's be let's let's be fair about that but guilty gear is still doing better than uh dragon ball z because when the testament came out march 31st so pretty much she's it's it's old but we will get more stages and we know that we at least have four more dlcs coming then you have DNF Duel, released on the 28th. I mean, besides nerfing Swiftmaster, buffing Grappler, and taking out Crusaders Infinite, I think the game is fine. Uh, I, I think Lost Warrior could probably use some buffs. I mean, if it's slowest, as fast as attack is like 10 frames, that's, that's crazy. And more or less, more defensive options would be good. So that leaves us in Arc System's current state. Where are they at right now? We know that we got EVO coming up on August 4th and 5th. And I might be a clown for expecting this, but I think that for EVO, we definitely need some new DLC and stage reveals for Dragon Ball Fighters, And hopefully we'll see the first... Um, Hopefully, we will see the first DLC character for Season 2. It's kind of strange that they're only giving us four characters. It's an Arc System game. It's not like they're handcuffed by Bandai Namco like they are with DBZ. But even in Bandai Namco's case, it's still in their best interest to give us some new DLC for Dragon Ball Fighters. But that's neither here or there. But in the case of Guilty Gear, I don't understand why they haven't given us more than just four DLCs. Even five characters would be good. People gotta buy the game. It's still relatively hot right now, so to speak. So I don't really get that. Um, the only reason why I can think that we're not getting new DLC for these games, you remember last year around June 24th that Arc System put some type of ad out that they're working on this big manga fighter. And I'm guessing it's a Shonen Jump game, and maybe they're working on a, a game to complete with Street Fighter VI. Is that supposed to come out sometime next year? Probably in February is the, the guess. 
And then whenever Project L comes out, maybe they want that to be the big fighter for Project L, the Tekken 8. So maybe that's why they're not giving us a lot of stuff right now. But that that's my uh, stipulation of where our Arc System's currently at. Uh, I think the reason why we're not getting as much DLC, DLC and, and new stuff to these games is because they have other bigger games in the works right now. But what do you think, Deep Minds? Do you think there's some other reason for it? Or do you think that Arc System's doing just fine and we need to hold our slower horses? Anyway, this is 255 out. One.